Just in regards back to um, my favourite topic, uh, the, the gold bars that are stored in the Bank of England, did the Bank of England actually ask permission from the RBA uh, to actually melt down the 80 tonnes of gold, um, Australia's gold, before refining it from 2015 onwards? Um. I, so you're suggesting that the gold bars that we owned had been melted down? By oh, I've the been Bank given the serial numbers and the dates of refining, and, and they've been refined from 2015 onwards as late as 2020. So I would have thought that if the, uh, the Bank of England, either they, they didn't have our gold bars there in the first place, and, and you know, the memo I got uh, from the RBA previously has said there's been fake gold bars and duplicate serial numbers, it, that would mean at some point the gold bars we own now, well, we know that, you know, mm. I've got the document from the RBA that says they've been refined from 2015 onwards. So clearly our old gold bars have either been given to someone else or they've been melted down. But long story short, it's a trespass to chattel for the Bank of England to be, you know, moving around our gold bars without permission from the RBA. Senator, Wouldn't you agree oh, with that? Senator, can, oh, yeah. Oh, Senator Renick, I was just going to okay. ask if there was a question there, which I think was, yeah. uh, do yeah, you yeah, agree yeah. with so that? Did, did, and, did yeah, the, yeah, and that's the end of your ten-minute block. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the gold bars that we own, sometimes uh, we will lend those bars out. So those bars will be lent by us that's, to that's somebody not, else. They don't move. They don't they move. Won't move. It's a paper transaction. But then we might get back a different gold bar, but still one that satisfies all the very stringent conditions for that gold bar to be in the Bank of England's vaults. Well, well given that the RBA has admitted that there's been fake gold bars, well, the Bank of England admitted to the RBA that there's <coughs> been fake gold bars. How do you know a real gold bar hasn't been well, lent and you get a fake gold bar back? Well, I think we've clarified that uh, some of the problems with these gold bars that you're referring to were a very different type of gold bar, a much smaller gold bar than the ones that we uh, we have in our um, ownership. So we only deal with the uh, much larger gold bars and there have never been questions about the quality of those bars um, sitting in the Bank of England, some of which we own. Which, Thanks. Which, yeah, uh, so I'll just finish up one, one question. One, 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 one tiny please, short, please, question yeah, short question with a tiny so short answer. Alan Greenspan you. admitted in 1997 that if the, the price of gold took off, the central banks would lease gold out to, con to basically suppress the price of gold. Australia's biggest, third biggest mineral export is gold at $28 billion. To put that in context, our beef exports are $11 billion. Why is the RBA working with other central banks leasing out gold? You might pick up you know, a million dollars on your side of the ledger, Senator but Rennie, given that we've got $28 billion. Can you ask billion, your question, please? Yeah. So, so why are you doing that? Why are you leasing out gold that's in, impacting the profitability of our gold miners in this country that employ over 100,000 people, directly or indirectly? Well, my understanding is that some of the lending actually is to facilitate producers who occasionally need uh, gold in their possession that they have not yet produced. They're going but to produce don't, it. We don't move physical bars. No, but they've promised the gold to somebody else. So we can lend it to them for a time until they obtain uh, suitable gold to, to um, okay. uh, use for okay. their purposes. So it's facilitating the market in helping uh, producers. 